Where are you going? To the bathroom. Okay. When you stop and think about it, soulmates come in the form of friends too. It's not just about romance. First to Signs that she's into you, part two. For the gaze, of course. She likes all of your Instagram stories. I feel like on social media, this is like the first move before the moves. And someone could totally be liking your Instagram stories because they're your friend and like that doesn't mean anything at all. But if it's someone that you don't know really well or someone that maybe you've met in person once or twice and they're liking all your stories, I don't know. I feel like that's like a little flirty to me. And I feel like that warrants like a DM on either sides. Next, you feel a little like the real when you're chatting with them. There's a mutual sense of attraction. You're talking to someone, you just feel this 
thrilling charge between both of you, like this energy that you either of you can't deny. There might be a sense of risk tied to that. Like, oh, like, I don't wanna mess this up. But like, I feel like there's something between us. I think listening to your intuition is really important. Like you can kind of tell if someone's into you when you're chatting with them in person, especially. And the last one I've noticed is when she is mimicking your body movements or mannerisms. Like if you turn to face someone openly and they turn back to face you openly, I feel like that's an invitation to continue things further. Or you might gently touch them and they might gently touch you back at a later point in the conversation. And that kind of grants you the permission to push it a little further and see where things go. It's in our human nature to mimic the people we love or are interested in. And I don't deserve you, you deserve the world. Like we were built from the same You better bring your ass over and better be Put them thongs down, scream, no baloney Put them, put them thongs down, scream, no baloney yeah, Are you single? I am, yeah Yeah? Yeah Happily? No, I'm looking for a femme A femme? Yeah, are you a femme? I don't know, maybe <laughs> I'm not a lesbian, but I might, I might You could be Do you know what? You're not the first person <laughs> To suggest that I might no, have a bit of gay in me, to be, be honest. The best, best person, though. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you got more chat than a straight man, I swear. Yeah, what can I say? What, you, ready? Let's get married, let's go. No, I don't want to get married, I'm commitment phobic, mate. Oh, oh, I've got oh, trust oh, issues as well, I was just having a go. Tell me a red flag about you. The one that you're holding up for me to take you home. This isn't fucking take me out, mate. Do you oh, know what I mean? I thought it was take you home. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to do a very serious interview Sorry, let's be serious, right, okay. Let's be serious. What do you do for a living? No, right. no. Oh, sorry, right. I am asking the questions. Sorry, all right. Have you ever... <laughs> have you ever faked a no? Oh, yeah. With you? Right, this, we're cutting this. In fact, you've made me more straighter. This, really? Yeah. Oh, you've hurt me. I'm going to regret this so much. No, you'll be fine. I, mean, Thank you. I am fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sunday kind of love a love to last past Saturday night and I'd like to know it's more than love at first sight and I want a Sunday As a 27 year old lesbian who didn't come out until 25 and who dated men their entire life up until then i think it's so funny to look back at some of the thought processes i had while dating men that i'm like how did i not see it like one time my long distance boyfriend left my apartment and i literally had only been with him for like maybe 48 hours and i started sobbing not because i was going to miss him because i was so overstimulated so overwhelmed and just so over that man being in my house and instead of being like maybe we don't like him like let's question this i was like oh i must actually have an avoidant attachment style not an anxious attachment style and if you know me there is not an avoidant bone in my body or like i would always say that i just really liked men with like feminine features like i really wanted to find a man that had like long hair and painted his nails and like didn't follow gender norms kind of thing like slay but i just didn't actually even want the man attached to the long hair and nails I wanted it to be a woman. Like the time a barista who was a girl flirted with me and then my brain was like, let's come back here next week, the same time, the same day to see her again, but I'm still, but I'm still straight. Or when I started listening to queer music, specifically Girl in Red, and I would be blasting like the song Girls or the song like Be My Girlfriend or whatever the frick the name actually is. And I hid the ability for my friends to see what i was listening to on spotify because i was like oh my god they're gonna like think that i'm a lesbian but i'm not i just love girl in red i just like love i love singing about girls being my girlfriend that's fine i'm straight there's like literally so many others but <laughs> those are just some of the good ones now i need to know if you also came out later in life like what are the thoughts you had that you're now looking back and are like that was like a clear sign 
My knee was bothering me this morning. So I have like a pinch almost like going like down here too. Not to start complaining, oh, but I God. haven't slept well in three nights. Okay. Hey guys. This is things in our relationship that just makes sense. Just makes sense. This is just the way we work. Yep. All right, you go first. Okay. One thing about us is that London is always going to drive. We don't look at my car. We don't get in my car. I maybe put gas in my car like once a month. London is the driver and I am the passenger princess. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Olivia just folds the laundry. It's always been that way. Even whenever like we were dating and I had my one bedroom apartment, she would fold my laundry. It, yeah. just, it just made sense. All right. Um, London grocery shops. We don't know why London grocery shops, but she does it completely by herself. Comes back with the most random shit, but she... It works. A, she's the designated grocery shop. It works. Okay, so this is the foundation of our relationship. I'm not even... Speaking of. Cheers. <gasps> Cheers. Um, this is our common ground whenever we first started dating. Other than our golden retrievers, this was the second thing that we talked about that we had like the most in common how yeah. much we liked dr, dr. Pepper. pepper was our common ground it just makes sense okay okay the next thing is that it doesn't matter what city we're in or literally where we are london sets up our nighttime routine every single night we do the same thing every night so True. we get in the bathtub together with our salt and our bubble bath every night mm -hmm. and then we get out london gets me water and her ginger ale and we every come night. upstairs we get in bed with the dogs watch Grey's anatomy and after we're done with Grey's, we listen to white noise or brown noise on London's like humidifier speaker thing. We put in essential oils and go to sleep. Every night. Every night. Every Doesn't night. fail. You cannot make us do anything different. Every night. No, if we're at a hotel, I bring the machine with We're me. doing the whole thing. Point blank period. Okay. So Olivia knows the dates for everything. I don't know why, but she does. So. Personal calendar. She just knows the dates. Okay. Okay. Next is if any time that you're talking to London and I through like email or TikTok comments, um, it's always London. London always responds to everything. That's just the way it is. She words things way better than I do. So if you're going back and forth, you're speaking with her. I'm a journalism major. What do I, what do I gotta say? Wait a Olivia vacuums. She doesn't let me vacuum. I don't know why. I, I try all the time and she's like, no, I'll do it. Or like, Hey, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm vacuuming. She's like, no, I got it. It's not done right unless I do it. Right. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. Okay, next is if we're spending money on a card, it is 10 times out of 10 going to be London's card. London pays for literally everything that we do. I never swipe my card ever. That is. Makes sense. Okay, last thing that makes sense. There's a lot more, but we share clothes. Um, everything but shoes. We share a closet. We do everything together. We share accessories. Everything. Love you. Bye.
say it, baby. Come on, Slayer, just close my eyes and pretend she was here. Lesbians, we need to talk. I don't care who you are. You need to start shooting your shot more, okay? Dating apps and random events that we just so happen to be at is not going to get us in a relationship. That's probably why you single now. Look at you and all your singleness. Walking up to another female and going, I love your hair. You're just so beautiful. Is not asking a girl out. Following a girl back that follows you because you think that she's cute is not asking a girl out. Random awkward eye contact from across the room is not asking a girl out. Put your poom poom on and go and ask a bitch out. Walk up to them and be confident and be like, you know what? You are so beautiful. I just wanted to know, like, do you like women? You want to go out on a date with me? What the fuck is so hard about that, damn it? Then you expect to get your damn coochie and you don't got no damn coochie to eat. Come on. maybe 18 something and we met through a mutual friend who introduced us and we ended up going out one night a birthday thing you're speeding through it basically i thought she was super hot and super straight so i didn't make any moves on her i was trying to be like respectful then we went out that night we went out to dinner we were at tao and you called me over at tao and you were hitting on me like that was the second a time. dog the second that was the second time, time. i didn't hit on you the first time and then and the second time you were already there yes 
there, you came, you're hitting on me. You're and like, Terry, come here. I was already under the influence. Getting all the juicy details out. Oh, what are the <laughs> I was like, she was sitting across the table and I was like, Carrie, come here. And then she sits down and of course I start hitting on her and I'm like, so like, you ever been with a girl before? That's where it started. Then we went to the club and I <laughs> pushed Lara up against the DJ booth and I made out with Lara. And then I texted our mutual friend and I was like, why do I have a crush on Laura? Like, I don't know, like whatever. At this point I was like, great, I got her. I'm in, like, I'm taking her over, like, we're doing this. It's gonna go down. And she left. And then I spent two years asking her to hang out with me. And I'd be like, oh, like, you know, what are you up to? And not even asking her on dates, cause I was like, kind of like, um, she's sure about her sexuality. Oh, I can't. My friend, this time she had a boyfriend. I think I made her Okay, nervous. okay, okay. By the way, he was just inviting me out to hang out at friend events. I respectfully declined, but I She's replied to you. She's a loyal girl. Because I, yeah, but I replied to you every time. But I was with somebody, and you were somebody that I had actually made out with before. So, like, I don't know. I didn't feel right, like, going and hanging out No, I completely you. agree with you. And but, I love that you didn't go. <laughs> but she was persistent. And she was, like, very forward. Like, I wouldn't be posting pictures, and she would, like, screenshot my photo on Instagram and text it to me with, like, some weird pickup line. I did that one time. Okay, fast forward. It's like November. Two, it's two years of her not meeting up with me and trying to get her. But we were like Insta friends. Yeah. Like, and you know, COVID and everything. And then nearing like the end of 2020, a mutual friend that had introduced us the first time. I called her because she had been my friend for a very long time and I wanted to go to lunch. And she was like, oh, I'm actually doing lunch with Laura and another friend to come. And I didn't really think anything of it. I was like, yeah, I like, want to see you. At that point, I was like, great. I'm definitely going to hit on her. <laughs> I haven't seen her in two and years, I'm did. gonna take advantage of it. And you did. We were sitting at the table and she 